Hi, I'm Jim. Uh, this is my 1969 Corvette L88. This car was uh, originally owned uh, by a guy who put 19,000 miles on it. And I have all the owner history from that owner to uh, present day. In the process, uh, I believe the second owner did something with the original engine. It was taken out. That's in the paperwork. It's, it's discussed in there. And when it was restored in the mid 90s, neighbors uh, out in Texas did the car. Uh, these guys uh, were, were big restorer back in the day and uh, did, uh, did a lot of the high-end cars out there at the time. And this car went to judging uh, in 96, uh, 97. Uh, a fellow by the name of uh, Carter Perkle owned it. He was the son of uh, Perkle, who uh, was a parts specialist in the Corvette world. If, if you're a Corvette guy, which I'm sure there's many of you watching this auction, uh, you'll see that uh, that name is mentioned. So the car was well known and well vetted at that time. And then it went into a private collection and uh, just recently resurfaced and uh, we, we got our hands on it. But it's a real deal car. Um, it, uh, it has added side exhaust, but it is an original gunmetal, um, or I'm sorry, Cortez silver with a gunmetal interior. And um, the car has, a original shipper copy. Now I tried to get this authenticated by the NCRS and I, I knew what the outcome was going to be. For some reason they don't have records for uh, L88s, but it has been uh, looked at by uh, myself and uh, quite a few other Corvette uh, specialists. You know, and all the ECL codes match up. Um, I want to claim it's an original document. And again, we have all the owner history through here. Uh, through through day one, and uh, you know it's got a good uh, good provenance here. It's it's a, it's a well it's a well documented car and a well known car uh, throughout the hobby. So you know the uh, the engine uh, being changed out, uh, it's not a big deal on an L88 because the bulk of these cars were raced and very few have original engines. And those that do, they bring they bring top buck. So this thing's uh, you know in a price range that, that is adjusted for that. Uh, but it is a 25 or so year old restoration and it's held up well. It's not perfect, but it's still, it's, it's, it's held up considerably well. And uh, you know, it's just a great car overall. It's properly rebuilt. I usually do videos uh, with, with test drives and run them up the red line. Uh, you know, an L88 with the you know, bias ply tires, I'd really not, I don't want to put it on the road, on, on the highway like I do most cars. It's just kind of too valuable of a car. Really too rare of a car if something ever happened to it. But it does run correctly. Uh, it does require, uh, you know, the proper fuel, which is really like a Cam 2 race fuel or an av gas with an additive. It's just not going to run on pump gas. So if you're thinking, you're, you know, this is a car you would drive, you're not going to do it without that type of gas. So I'm sure folks don't need a lecture on that, but the car is really dialed in. It's got, you know, all the right components on it. The finishes here and there, like the spare tire cover, that looks like it was painted. No, it's not a natural gray. You know, it can be a little, there's some picky things like that, but by and large, the parts are correct. Um, you know, on these cars, a lot of this stuff is hard to find. So anyway, uh, we'll do a cold start for you. And uh, all these docs are uh, posted and uh, all the pictures that we have. And if there's any questions, uh, we'll be happy to try to answer them for you. Thanks for looking.